So, Talman Scout, Hakim Horn. It's a decent hand, although the Elven Scouts don't really make a lot of sense in it. Alright, let's go with that. We can do that. Do an opener. There was a chance that it would go to my side. Humans that character would have played well. Unfortunately. Special prize, just for you, love. What we should do, we, ju we should just assume that the players are competent and we just should, should just like rag the rock them right away. Round two. Oh, uh, we can lock that. Suppose it makes a little bit more sense. But by the time we establish the Dryad Matrons with the Sentry, they would have don't matter. Seems like the... yeah. The dudes are gonna come out to thin the deck. Then he's gonna have the Nightman. And I don't have a choice now. So let's go with that. We'll pay men back for their persecution. Skeg's boost. Does he want to shut that down? We'll put Mahakam boots to Imperial arses. Now this could be extremely uh, powerful. Careful, the moss. Don't trample it. I can't really leave this up. <laughs> I think that's it. These just generate value by themselves. Two value plus this is two value for every time they move. And I'm in the lead by eleven. I think that's it. Oh, hi, Mr. Streamer. Oh, hey, Zorn. Sensible pass. As long as we can go to last round, we should be good. Uh, we don't need the crushing trap, and other than that, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, Mr. the big tree would be better, I suppose, or your vet, but it's unlikely we're gonna get a... Better. Well, he has a lot of control, so Alvin Scott is most likely gonna die. So let's just pass. I have deja vu. Right. I bet I've seen that Brewer deck with R&R &R and traps. It was requested that I play it. That's how it works. It was requested that I update it for the next patch. And apparently we are running into our worst matchup today. Just as a way to showcase the deck. And that's pretty bad. But we have some good cards. Coexistence my ass! He's boosting some dwarf. Let's just Ragnarok him. Although he might have a Saskia. As long as he doesn't play a uni uh, immune unit, 
Uh, he's gonna be enjoying the warm fire. Nigh is the time of the white frost and white night. Go with the board. Then we can do Puffco. It's unlikely that he has a Scorch. So we should expect maybe the Knight. Definitely Shadow and Skags. So don't go crazy about any one particular card. Actually, Boar is probably his best target. Uh, but he's unlikely to take it. Maybe we can even uh, pick up Sheldon Skags with the Pitfall Trap. Yes, Duan. That's perfect. He's playing into the Ragnarok. It seems like this deck is extremely controlling. It's the usual style of everybody. They just go for a lot of control. Mm. So probably Mr. Night Guy is gonna come down next turn. And there's not much we can do about that. There's actually something we can do about that by playing the Alma Scout now. But then he would just delay playing it. In all likelihood. At least I would. But I just assume that they are not completely incompetent. So the knight is coming down in the melee row. Hitting Puffco in the face. And gets pinged. Then we play on Elva. Did we we play on the same row? Elven Scout. The first row could be a really good target for uh, the traps. Or maybe we gotta hit both rows with the traps. If he's gonna keep this up. First row has a lot of twos. Obviously we need to start with the Pitfall Trap, then Mahakam Horn, and we're just gonna see it rest. There's a very good chance that we're gonna play in the front. Oh my god, no. Let's hit that because it's gonna get stronger. The only problem is that we don't have a lot of points. Feel any burning? See a local healer or wise woman. He had a dwarf, an elf, and a dryad, so we actually did shut down 12 points. I find it hard to believe that he would use that as a sacrifice. It's gonna come down to whoever is gonna have something left. And uh, there's a decent chance that he's gonna be that someone. Because he has a Sheldon Skaggs. Wait, what? He chose not to destroy an artifact?
pretty dodgy. If you're gonna do... Oh, no, no, no. Cutthroat needs to be played now. So, we have to milk some milk Let's do that. Mm -hmm. I should have hit the agitator, I believe. Currently, he has nothing on the board. And I have six points on the board. No, it's not true. He has one point on the board, and I have six. But he has a uh, buff Sheldon Skaggs. Onward, Fryhead! Oh, that's annoying. If he takes that out, uh, that's fine. You know that this is a Mahakam Horn, but even if he targets the Cutthroats, uh, just to limit the power of it, we are fine. So, how will I have enough points? Slaughter them to a man. So we put this in the back. He's gonna have four points in the front with this, and one point in the back. We don't have to win by a lot. We need need to win by a little. So this gets moved twice, although it doesn't really matter if you're boosting or just hitting him. But let's just hit him to make it look better. We can also move this guy into the front, which gives him the ability to ping once. And that should take it. Control decks, right? We get two. All right. Let's play two more games. We're playing against the mountain snake. Uh, cutthroat. Maybe not that. So this is a pretty good combo. Uh, I don't value the dragon too much. Do that. Oh, he's just like me. Is he though? I don't know. So... I have this. We have the matrons. That could be just so many points. I have a lot of value generators. That's, that's basically all I got. <laughs> all of them are value generators. Except the tree. He's not. But even his value goes up. We have two choices. Either we go Smuggler with uh, two Elven Swordmasters. Or we go Dobratana Sentry right away. With... Uh... I just go with Smuggler Special first. Price. Just for you, love. Or we go Dolpatana Sentry with Matrons. But we go Smuggler first, then Matron, then Matron again, then maybe Sentry. So that's annoying. 
I have no way to shut it down. And he moved me. This just kind of encourages me to go for plan B. Uh, let's play this guy first. Oh, actually, fuck. I should have played him on the right. I could have uh, made sure he gets boosted. I suppose it doesn't matter now. Hey, watch your step. So we do know that he likes thinning more than I do. Which is like yes, really not at all. Oh even cards. No real way to take it. That sucks. So the cutthroat goes away. We're gonna need some tempo here. And that's not exactly what we need. Here's your twin brother from the future. He knows all your plays. Wake up, dwarves. There's no Humans way. Lust after our lady twin brother my, from the future? What the fuck? Let us How the hell did he become steel. a time traveler? What the hell I'm doing wrong? How the hell does he know all my plays? But that's only relevant. What I want to know is that why is my brother Hold a flipping monster, monster snake. Monster snake, really? How did you get that nickname? I need some information on that. I'm not gonna accept that. Um, well, on face value. So, if you had a brother whose name was Mountain Snake, Humans are not wouldn't you like to have an explanation? And. What would be the explanation? Yeah, this sucks, but I think we're just gonna go Matron. Even if I try to preserve a card advantage, uh, I think we would just uh, get punished. I'm a little annoyed that people really are encouraged to just do the same thing. Everyone has like Regis Bloodlust in their deck. Everyone is like kind of my archetype plus a shit ton of control. So we can play this for the six, but that's not quite good enough. He knows that the we more cards he forces me to use, uh, the better it's gonna get for him. Uh, this might spook him. You, you don't know, this could be like a pit trap, but probably not. They can hide, but there is no escape. So I'm at 22. Uh, we can play this. You shall taste of your own medicine. So I'm at 26. Actually, not 26. I'm at uh, 28. What? Why only that?
I am proper confused. Although it's true that I can put thing right of the matron now, but what? So I'm at 28 now. If we play a unit next to it, plus of course the value of the unit, which is not too much right now. May your sword and arm be one. They used your DNA to clone a Slizard who likes to live in the mountains. Happened when you travel to Broccolis. Why did you have to bring up my trip to Broccolis? I'm trying to forget that. So, looks like he's gonna lacerate me big time. We might as well go with the crushing traps. We gotta play something. Lost the card advantage to push a trap deck, but I managed to keep good cards. Very interesting. Very interesting. But do I even want Ragnarok? I'm not sure if I do. But I don't care too much about the mover guy. We can actually move the tree and board back, so this could be a five. This could be a 7, that's a 5, that could be a little bit more. Unlikely that we get a worse card. We can start with the Smuggler. Also this Mountain Snake used up all his uh, charges. Hey John, you're kinda catching uh, the tail end of the stream. Let's play the tree and boar. Do I behold a match that does not have that luck as one of the players? I see you know what the hell is up. <laughs> well, I'm not playing that laugh, so I suppose that's gonna help. But yeah, we did run into a lot of that laughs. But I still managed to climb. Although that laughs are kind of uh, tricky to beat. I am who I need to be. Yeah, let's do that. Big tree. All males are your foes. Sure. Oh, uh, we can just play the big tree. All that. Uh, move that Sheldon Skeggs around. Tiny baby Sheldon Skeggs. Oh, He won round one against the trap deck. Won even cards. Then push me. Lost his even cards. Lost his card advantage. But he kind of forced out some good cards. Then he lost anyway. GG.